What is up guys? Alright, so I recently made a video uh, talking about the updates on both of the cars. Um, they've been kind of slow progress uh, at that point and not a lot was really getting done. I wasn't super happy with the video so I wanted to make another one that was a little bit more informative and maybe had more updates going on. Um, first we'll jump into what's going on with the blue car and then what's going on with the white car. So the blue car, um, I added some stickers, that's sick, um, <laughs> but uh, mainly those. Um, so I got the, uh, the RPF1s and like the, the, the black chrome looking finish, uh, SBC, uh, don't know specifically what that stands for, I probably should, um, but I got those. I didn't put any of the inky stickers on it, um, I, I kind of like the way they look clean so I just left it like that. Um, but they are 17 by nine and a half with plus 18 offset uh, with a 255 40 uh, extreme contact uh, continental sorry um, and they're great uh, they had a little too much air pressure in them when I first put them on uh, just from the, the tire place and I bumped them down a little bit and great they're sticky um, I've driven in the rain a few times I really like them so far and they have like a three 340 AAA uh, rating so they're gonna last me a little while and they're great for the street so far uh, I've been testing them for a couple of months now um, and that's on front and back so it does have a square offset I did run into a few issues where I had to roll the fenders uh, just because I, I wanted to make sure there's clearance because when I do put the BC coilovers on I'm not gonna have any issues uh, but as you can see I kind of I kind of chipped the paint so I'm gonna have to take care of that uh, one way or another uh, probably when I get the bumpers and spoiler their painting because that's mostly the rough spots on the car so for interior um, I think you guys saw the Renault wheel in the very beginning uh, but I did get a new Momo shift knob um, I really like it the way it screws in is kind of funky, but it's not bad, and the boot doesn't really fit well. I kind of have to push it up, but it's no biggie. Um, but I think I have the old shift knob in here somewhere. Do. So this was the original shift knob, and I love keeping stuff OEM, and this was, you know, very similar to OEM. So I, I liked it, and it was a nice finish, and it matches the steering wheel finish. So. I went ahead with that, um, and these are actually kind of expensive. Finding one of these in good condition range for like two to four hundred bucks, um, depending on where you're looking. Uh, I'm sure I could probably find one cheaper, but I needed one, so I got that. Uh, that's pretty much it with the blue car. I do need to put the BCs on. I know people are egging me on. I got a couple of friends who are like, you got BCs, why don't you put them on? Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. White car, more importantly, is currently on uh, ramps because we're working on buttoning up a couple of things under here uh, with the transmission. As you can see, it's kind of holding it up right now. Uh, or the jack's holding it up. Um, I got to plug in some connections and I've got to get a trans uh, mission cross member. Um, built by actually my grandfather who uh, he uh, does transmission shields and whatnot and then my drive shaft from drift motion is coming in hopefully next week um, besides that that should be done uh, everything else will just be buttoning it up motor is in that would have been in the last video um, but it's in and it's actually got some more stuff going on everything's actually together uh, there's a couple of things of course we need to you know tidy up and make look nice um like this like the 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 actual cable is not really connected here i gotta get some washers and stuff to make that look all nice and neat and make sure it doesn't move i mean it would be fine but um yeah we're a little temperamental and stuff like that uh intercooler piping done by pedro um suspect engineering i believe his his instagram he uh, installed uh intercooler as well uh got that mounted uh, to the bumper, um, it's a big uh, front mount intercooler, looks good. That is the transmission cooler, which will be going on as well once we um, sort out the mounting and everything. Uh, we've kind of got it all mocked up, but now we just have to put it all back together after getting some of the mounts painted. 
he also went ahead and did the piping for um, the exhaust and wastegate, which is right there. Um, and with this, uh, this pipe as well, um, intercooler piping that goes all the way around, installed the wastegate down there, and then the blow off, uh, if you can see it, right there. Nice and shiny, it's a good spot. And we got the hose running up along here, nice and tidy up through here, over here. Um, me and my dad are really picky about the way we kind of do things. Uh, he's a little more picky than me, but yeah, it looks good. Chase Bays, I think you guys saw that already. Um, I also got a Chase Bays overflow that needs to go somewhere, probably here. Uh, that's about it. Yeah, um, Pedro helped me out a lot with getting this thing all tidied up. He actually made the harness as well. Uh, the uh, 7M harness was um, custom uh, made to work with this motor. Uh, so, and he, he did all that. He's done a couple of these before um, and he's really helped us out with that and then got it installed. Also added a couple more connections that we needed, um, battery terminals, whatnot. Uh, I think that's it for what he kind of helped us with. I mean, there's a lot more actually, you know, like the fuel regulator, um, connecting all the fittings, connecting all these fittings to make sure they're all good. Uh, my dad had this installed as well. This is probably one of my favorite pieces, uh, the, the catch can with how the lines are run, uh, kind of like around the back and then and fitting into the valve covers. It's perfect. I wouldn't mess with it, wouldn't change anything else. This company's really cool. I think this is a cool piece. It fits right here where the ABS used to go, and I'm not running ABS, so I don't need that. And then the other day, we uh, tidied these up with um, some heat wrap. I, I did an okay job. I mean, it could be it could be better, but for my first time, I, it really wasn't that bad. I mean, there's a couple of spots that I probably wish I would have, you know, made a little neater, like back here, but... I mean, not really seen, and they're doing the job. And then we're gonna tidy that up with some fasteners. Um, that's pretty much it, I think. Yeah, I, I mean, for the most part, I'm just waiting on other parts to come in. Uh, specifically, the drive shaft, uh, the one-piece drive shaft, which is for a uh, Aristo transmission, and will bolt up to the rear or the the rear end of this car. So should work out perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it. Looks sick. I'm stoked. I can't wait for this thing to be running. We're kind of on a time crunch. There's a show I want to make in September. Um, uh, my buddy Tim is help hosting it. Uh, with Alpha Class, so we want to try and make that as soon as possible. That's uh, September 14th in Daytona. Um, and I, I want this car there because he's also revealing his car, so uh, I would like them to kind of go together. Uh, but that's, you know, that's it. That's, a, that's an update on both of the Supras. Uh, hopefully we get the BCs on this rather soon because I want this to handle better and look better and be a little lower. Uh, but yeah, this car is, this car's close. This car's super close. So I'm like hyped. I'm like really getting excited to like get this done so I can drive it again. It's been down for, it's been down for a long time, but this is the first time the cars have been back in the garage together, which is nice. Um, so I think that is it. If you guys have any questions on the build uh, regarding what I've used um, for certain things, uh, put it in the comments, whatever you want to do. Uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, and thanks for watching.